Yes, we got stranded, miles from home base. This is the original Bosch pump. One of the biggest problems I've encountered with all fuel injection systems is that when the pump or filter start failing, it's impossible to tell there's a problem until you get an almost complete failure when it's completely clogged. That's because the injection computer makes the pulses for the injectors to be open longer and longer in an attempt to make up for the lack of pressure. And then when you finally find out, it's when it can no longer make that adjustment. I found another pump, so I'm replacing the one we took off the Chevelle that we put on the Vanagon. A much cheaper pump with the same specs as the Bosch pump is a 30 pound pump from 1989 era Ford fuel injected trucks. This is on a 1968 Chevelle that I converted to throttle body injection. I paid $16 for this pump including shipping from an eBay vendor and they are available at local parts suppliers for probably $100 to $115 which is still much cheaper than the $175 to $300 for the original Bosch pump. Okay, plugged in. I energized the electric pumps several times so that the small low pressure pump back near the fuel tank can fill the reservoir at the front that this higher pressure pump feeds from. That's the sensor for the glow shift fuel pressure gauge. In the case of the Volkswagen water boxer engine, the regulator sets the pressure to approximately 30 psi and for the TBI system that the Chevelle was converted to, it sets it to approximately 14 psi. So, what I did was order a fuel pressure gauge from a Chinese vendor for approximately $23, which is pretty cheap compared to GlowShift, which is $80 to $100. First, I'll check that the uh, pressure is relieved and it's at zero, so it is. Here's the sender. And this is where I'd installed the pressure attachment for the pressure gauge. So I'm going to take that off and put that sender in its place. Some Teflon tape sealer. I drilled a two inch hole in the front heater shield to fit the fuel pressure gauge. I installed the display heater cover and a spare space there's room for two uh, gauges there.
The toughest problem was running the sensor wire all the way to the back from the front of the Volkswagen Vanagon since the engine is in the back. Now I can tell if the fuel pressure drops and I can then do repairs before the engine stops altogether and leaves us stranded.